Hello best friends, this is Craig from bestbox.co.uk here with another conversion video. So before we begin, I just want to say in advance that this one didn't come out as well as I had hoped and um, they were a bit tougher to convert than I thought. So yeah, we're sort of seeing whether you can mix these two sets together. So this was from a comment that we got on uh, one of our videos a couple of months ago. Um, I will get round to... I'm doing as many of requests, and we've got quite a few, I'm sort of getting a list together, and I'll go through as many as I can. Um, but yeah, as, um, Adam Fox says, as far as kit bashing goes, uh, sorry, have you tried Skatari with perhaps Cordor Gangers? I've been thinking about that myself, almost like a Dark Mechanicus or really beat up Android type. So yeah, that's what I thought I'll do. Um, I've got a box of the Cordor um, Gang, and I've got a box of the Skatari Rangers, and we're going to see if we can mix them together to make sort of a Dark Mechanicus style squad. Now, um, I've seen people do this before, and they look really nice. Um, jump into Google and have a look for yourself. There's a couple of out there. Um, yeah, um, see what you think of mine. You can tell in the video that I'm not too pleased with them, but um, this is probably not what you want to hear in an intro, is that I want you guys to watch this video. Um, but yeah, um, see for yourself, and let me know what you think in the comments. So let's just hit the desk. Okay, so I've built up eight of the cordal bodies and I've got two here. So yeah, we're going to base these off the cordal bodies. They'll be our base and then we'll add some admech bits from the uh, Skatari Rangers and then maybe add some other little bits afterwards to make them a bit more chaotic. And um, for the Dark Mechanicus, you'll notice there's two of them not glued to the base and the reason for that is that they have a bare foot and I don't think that's um, going to work too well on the mechanism. So... We are going to chop these feet off, uh, like so. Just try and get on in view. Pop. And then we'll just use the legs from the Katari Rangers. I've got a sprue here. And we'll just take a foot from that. And that'll give us a nice mechanical foot instead. So, pretty simple. Just chop down a foot. Focus. And that can just simply be glued glued in place. I ain't got no glue here, but I'm sort of showing you dry, dry fit. So, um, yeah, it seems to fit quite well. So, I'll get that done for these two, and then we'll start adding some weapons. Okay, so essentially, what it gives us is four bodies with arms attached. And um, one of them I did chop one of the arms off though. Um, and then six bodies without any arms. So I'm hoping it can be a simple case of just adding some of the Skatari arms uh, to these. So we've got Rangers or Vanguard. I think we'll go with... I think we'll go for Rangers. I like their guns and I like their, I like their heads better. Um, and we'll work on a little leader guy as well. But just for these six, I think we'll just try and give them some generic weapons. Um, maybe put a special in there. Um, I'm not going to do the um, big sniper rifle thingy. Um, I could have done. I probably should have done. But I didn't. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, let's take a arm set and let's see how well these fit. So it might be a case of having to chop up the shoulders. So... Yeah, what? Um, let's try and get some camera. So if I was to chop off the shoulder bit, oh come on, focus, focus over here. Chop off the shoulder and then maybe stick that in there. I think the width of these torsos are pretty good. They're pretty similar, if not the same as the Skatari ones. So in that, um, because of that, they should fit okay. So yeah, just chop off. I'm gonna go for a purity seal here, but that doesn't really matter. Not too fussed about that. I mean, we'll just. I mean, you won't see the top half of this arm, so you can just assume the rest of the beauty seal is just obscured. Um, and then you'd have something like, oh wow, you don't want to focus today, do you? Maybe something like that. Quite like that. And then we'd stick the other arm in as well. Chop off a bit of that. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Get a bit chopped off here. Clean that up. And then I'll show you the result of that, and I'll try it on a couple of others as well. Okay, so, yeah. Um, if you're thinking about um, doing...
doing something similar yourself, um, my advice would be don't. Um, these arms are horrible. Um, well, not the arms, the bodies, the caudal bodies. Um, trying to attach anything to them is a nightmare. Um, I'll have to get some green stuff out, I think. Um, like, if you look at the back, this one's probably not a terrible example, but there's a horrible gap there. You cannot really carve these down to get them out there unless you spend a lot of time getting the measurements absolutely perfect. Um, yeah, whilst the width is probably okay, you sort of lose the angle once you just start sort of chopping these up, so it becomes a bit of a nightmare. I mean, they look pretty cool, though. Don't get me wrong, I quite like how they look. Um, this one I decided to chop down the sides. Oh, getting shot. And that was actually worse. Um, you see there's a massive horrible gap there. Um, oh, yeah, so it's, it's horrendous. Um, I could fill it in with green stuff, no problem. Um, I probably will. Um, whether I'll do it on this video or not, I don't know. Um, maybe. But not just yet. I want to do some other bits. Um, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't look as good, so I don't recommend doing that. But um, if you can sort of try and get... Like, this one's... Horrendous! Look at look at that. Like you fill in with green stuff, it's gonna look fine. But yeah, like I chopped that one down and then realised, um, yeah. Um, oh, it needs to fill most of that gap. So not good. They don't go on particularly well. Oh god, see, that one's not even dry. How is that not dry? That was the first one I done. Oh no, it wasn't. But I done a couple since that one. Sorry, I often get told off because sometimes I'll move on to the next step before everything's finished drying but literally my time is so limited I don't get that luxury sometimes um <laughs> you know I put yeah I've put some free time aside to do these videos so I've got to make most of it um but I'm babbling now um this one over here needs an arm I sort of went with this arm that went on okay it looks a bit awkward it's not focusing today is it um as for an arm here I don't know what's gonna fit on there I really don't um, yeah. But, okay, we'll put these to one side, though, because we're going to look at these ones. I didn't bother with this one in the end. I just... Uh. So, I'm actually going to start using some of the actual corridor arms on these guys now. They do have bare hands, which annoys me a little bit, but, um, you know, if you were doing these yourself, I don't recommend it, but if you were, you could paint the hands silver. No one will know. No one will know. So I, I like the sort of pole arm weapons they have, and I'm thinking of like combining them with the Skatari guns. So yeah, I'm just going to grab the instructions, work out which ones I need, and I'll show you how I make the guns. Okay, so looking for the instructions, I realised that um, only one of these bodies is suitable for the pole weapon. So uh, uh, the ones what the other ones what use the pole weapons are these guys over here that I've done before. Um, so that's great. Um, one of them I'm going to make like a leader out of there, and one of them I'm going to make a special w weapon. So I think what I'll do is just these three will stick over there, and I'll worry something about them later. It doesn't matter if you see ten or seven, does it? Really? Um. Oh man, I apologise, guys. I really apologise. This video is a disaster. Um, but this weapon's going to look quite cool. So I'm going to take this weapon, one of the special weapons, combine it with this pole arm, um, and yeah. So first thing I want to do, chop this end off. Just chop, chop all that off. It's going to look like a sort of makeshift weapon. Um, the bottom bit's going to be a bit annoying because we've got the hand there, but I'm thinking we don't need all of it. So I'm going to... I mean, we could shorten this down. I don't actually want it too much. We'll, just, we'll take that top bit. We're going to have this in two halves. So we're going to take this top piece and we'll put the top piece on there. And then maybe just do like a shorter bottom piece. Yeah, that's the plan. That's the plan. Let's file this down flush. Yeah, and as we've got the hand there being quite annoying, I'll cut the other side of the hand, and we'll just take this piece, and that's our two pieces, and we'll put them on. I'll glue them on here. Um, glue them on the arm, and then I'll show you what they look like. Okay, so I'm quite liking that. It's a bit wonky at the bottom, but I quite like it because it sort of adds to the sort of makeshift nature of it. So that's pretty cool. I'm quite excited, so I'm going to finish this guy off. And then we'll move on to the leader. So, it's going to take just a regular Skatari Ranger head. Should fit in there. Let's see how well they fit in the cordal thingies. They fit in there pretty good. Can't get a great angle on it, but it doesn't matter. There we go. So, yeah, so you can see that the heads work okay. I'm just going to give them a little cordal knife. 
there's not really much options for these hands on their own. But that's pretty cool. And even with that, like, it does... It does make them quite different, so it does sort of, you, you know, sort of work with this sort of dark mechanic and vibe. Um, I'll probably have to do this off camera because that's a bit awkward on camera. Um, yeah, I'll wait for the head to dry and I'll stick the arm on. But yeah, that's pretty cool. So yeah, I'll get this stuck together and then we'll work on the leader. Okay, so yeah, he looks pretty cool. I'm quite happy with him. As stressful as these are. I'm quite happy with that result. Hey, hey, you do want to focus today, thank you. So yeah, we'll stick him over to one side. And I've got a nice little idea for the hero, so... Yeah, I'm going to take this body, and I'm actually going to use a different arm. So I've got this arm from the... What they call the Black Summer Fortress, um, Cottles of Abyss. Such a good little set, actually, um, if you want, like, Chaos Colossy stuff. It's quite a cheap set, and there's some good bits in it and stuff. Um, really like it, so I'm going to use this weapon. I know they can't technically take chainsaws, but I don't care. I don't care at all. And yeah, we'll have that. This is a big old shoulder pad thing, but I think if I trim it down. Uh, let's start. So this is from the Champion. Um, I'd be nice to try and sort of keep that in one piece, but don't think that's going to happen. We shall try. No, we're going to need some of that, I think. Um, oh, I don't know. Anyway, we can always green stuff for some bits. Um, no, that's fine. Yes. So that's going to go in there. You can see just like a little bit there. I'll probably have to green stuff just to neaten up, but that's pretty cool. Um, obviously, these bits are a lot smaller than the Rangers, so they're going to be a little bit more compatible with this. I apologize if we keep going off camera. I need to maybe try and get a little bit better set up for this. Um, oh, yeah, we'll have it like that. I like it. So you know when you're holding it in place now, I I can't stop the camera, but I can always edit it. Um, oh, there we go. Okay, so that's pretty much dry now, I think. And while I was waiting for it to dry, I put the head on him, and I put the head on a load of these ones. That one's at a bit of a weird angle, um, but he's sort of hunched forward. So, um, But a lot of the other ones look pretty, pretty good. Just a regular... Skatari Ranger heads. So for his pistol, I'll just chop the pistol hand or chop the hand off here. And that's just a case of attaching that to the arm what's already there. Just give it a little bit of fine and lean up. So these hands are a little bit bigger as you can see, but you can get away with it in Skatari and Admex sort of stuff. They're all robots. They ain't got to be in. They ain't even got to be in proportion. Let's face it. Doesn't matter. I'll we'll stick that on him. Yeah, these last two dudes. I'm not liking a lot. Um, I mean, even just leaving them all like this. You know, it'd work quite well. You could sell them as dark mechanic and. Oh, come on, stay on there. Yeah, quite well. Um. Want to stick probably. That's okay. I'll try and angle that a bit away from the leg. Not a massive fan of how that sort of hangs right down by the leg there. Not at all. Um, but that's just how it goes. So he has drive me around a bend enough for me to not want to spend too much more time fiddling around with them. But yeah, I really like that weapon actually. That collar chainsaw. That's pretty cool. And you got your little sort of chaos staffing hanging down there. So. A little bit of that chaotic vibe, being dark mechanic and all. Um, yeah, really liking these two. Um, got a sort of basic trooper there as well. So yeah, it does work. You can combine two sets. It's a bit of a pain in the bum. You might need a bit of green stuff to hide some little gaps, but they do work. Um, so I think last thing I'm going to do is just find some other little accessories just to make them. Look a little bit more dark mechanic ish, and I'll leave it there. Okay, so I've got a little selection of little accessory bits here that I plan to add. Um, I quite like these little tassels, you get them on like the bottoms of chainsaws and stuff. Um, I think I'm adding one to the gun, I was gonna hang it on the back, but I think I might stick up actually just hanging off the barrel, might not be to everyone's taste, but oh. 
one. Maybe something like that makes it look a little bit more feral. Um, maybe that's not what you want if you're doing this yourself, but I quite like it. Wow, the focus on today. Incredible. Um, it's more of a focus for you, folks. I quite like that. Just give it something different, make it a little bit more visually, visually interesting. Got a little chaos knife. I thought we could have a knife on someone's, um, just hanging from someone. Maybe we'll stick it across his back. Yeah, why not? Of course, these aren't in any holsters or anything like that. They just hang there. Um, I don't plan on painting these or using them or anything. Um, if I were, I would add maybe like some green stuff rope to hold that in. So use your imagination on that one. Uh, I've got like a skull on a rope. Where did my little symbol go? Come back. Now you can get these skulls on ropes and things like blood crushers. Um, Empire of Flagellants have quite a few. I'm not entirely sure where this one's from. Um, this guy still hasn't got another arm, and um, I will think of something in the future for his arm. Uh, we'll hang on this guy's belt. So yeah, just little um, tiny accessories and things like that, just to make them look a little bit more different, just so they're not just cordor with Skatari pieces, um, I could so easily have just done that, and that probably wouldn't have been the most interesting video in the world, it might not even be the most interesting video in the world anyway, um, but yeah, something to make them different, and then we've got this little symbol thing, I think this came from the Skull Crushers, or the Mighty Skull Crushers. Um, I thought this guy's a little bit on the wong, isn't he? That can just hang off his belt at the back. Again, just something else to make him look a little bit more interesting. And just gives that little chaos element too. Cool. So yeah, you can sort of see as well, um, some of them, like the heads, they don't go on particularly well. I think the um, Vanguard heads would definitely work better. Um, but I quite like the hooded head with the sort of robed bodies as well. They obviously um, like they work well together, just size is just a little bit off. Um, you can obviously cut down around the neck area as well. Might make it a little bit easier. Um, some of them you can see they're alright though. I quite like these. Like these two guys I think work really well and the and the leader and the special weapon guy, they all work pretty decent, so yeah, overall I don't think they're too bad, I will work out what arm um, to put in for him, I think it will probably just be a cordial one, and um, I'd actually have a cordial, um, could have a cordial one with a little knife, and um, that doesn't quite fit that body because it's not meant for it, so that's another thing as well, even though some of these cordial stuff um, will fit better, they're still not designed for um, every body, they're sort of designed for certain ones, so that's something to bear in mind as well. But a bit of snipping down, and we can get that in place. Um, or a lot of snipping down, it might seem. Um, so I'll get that sorted, and then I'll just do a little outro thingy. Okay, so here they are, and I apologise that it is only seven, not the full ten that I intended to do. Originally, I was only going to do five, so. <laughs> you know, we've still got seven, so that's I'm still proud of that. Um, but yeah, um, this is, of course, a viewer request, and I do apologise, it's not the greatest conversion video I've done, and um, if, if you guys could please um, not um, dislike this video, I'd be very grateful. Um, do feel free to give it a thumbs up um, if you've enjoyed watching me suffer. Um, why not? You know, you get some entertainment out of this, right? Um, obviously, a lot of the suffering was done off camera. But there wasn't much swearing. I'll be um, happy to let you know. Um, yeah, so um, and I mean, I mean, one reason I do these videos is to show you guys what can be done and what can't be done as well. Um, it's not always going to be successful and not always going to be amazing. And um, looking at them though, um, I think they do look really sweet. I really like them. I like the cordial, the cordial bodies with the ranger stuff. I think they work really well visually together. It's just they are a pain in the bum to put together, but um, yeah, a little bit of green stuff work, and you know, some of you guys have better modern skills than I do, so you could do a far better job, and I've seen some out there, what people have done, that have looked amazing, and um, definitely 
get on the old Google and look for them. Um, but yeah, um, that's some Dark Mechanicum. That was a viewer request, and if you have a request yourself, then definitely let me know in the comments. I promise you I'll try and do a better job. And yeah, um, any other comments that you'd like to leave, um, let me know. Maybe you have some suggestions how to make this a bit easier. Um, and yeah, um, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I appreciate it so much. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, then please feel free to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. You can also click that bell icon to be notified when a new video has gone live on this channel. On the screen now are two more videos that you may wish to check out, and a link to our Patreon page also. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again soon.